All right, so I've got this basic application where all I'm doing is rendering this red button. When you tap it, it alerts box tapped. Uh, something I want to do though is instead when I do a double tap or triple tap, whatever you want, um, and basically to do this in an iOS simulator, you just press and hold option and then you can press click. And you're seeing that it's also doing uh, just box tapped, but we want to do something different when a user double taps. So we'll go ahead and actually create a component to do this. So we're actually going to call this uh, we'll say class multi tap, then that's going to extend react.component. So this multi tap component, um, we're just going to set some default props to start. So we'll set default props, and then we're going to have an on press prop, and that'll just render null when it's tapped by default. So next we'll set up our render function. And in this render function, basically we're going to wrap our uh, any of the children in a view. So we can just go ahead and put this.props.children inside of it. And then we can go ahead, we've got the basis for this component. We can actually go ahead and wrap our existing uh, button box with our new component. So we'll just wrap multi-tap around the touchable highlight. And we can go ahead and add our on press. And then that's just going to be alert double tap. Okay, now we can actually go ahead and start implementing this. And to do this, what we're going to be using is the gesture responder system within React Native. And to do what we want, we're going to use two props on a view. The first one's going to be on start should set responder. And then we'll just set, we'll create a function called on start should set responder. And we're also going to do on responder release. And then once again, this is just going to be this dot on responder release. So we can go ahead and set up these functions. And both of these functions are going to take one argument, and that's just going to be an event, uh, which I'll just abbreviate as EVT. So if I save this, everything should still work the exact same way as it did before. Box tapped, box tapped. All right, so that's looking good. Uh, now, what on start should set responder is doing is basically, should this component, this multi-tap component, take over any gestures at this point? And what we're going to be doing is detecting if we're doing a double tap or a multi tap. And to do this, what we can say is if evt.nativeEvent.touches, and touches is going to represent how many uh, touches are actively on the screen. Is it one, is it two, is it three, is it four, so on and so forth. Um, so what we're going to say if event.touches, event.nativeEvent.touches.length is greater, or actually if it's going to be equal to uh, two at this point, then we're gonna go ahead and return true. Otherwise, we'll just go ahead and return false, uh, which means that this component is not going to handle gestures. So if I save this and we press it, box tapped, if I double press it, nothing's happening here. So that's good. That means we're taking over. We're just not doing anything. And to keep with the consistent tap and release, the, re the action happens on release of a button. We're going to use this on respond to release, which basically once I let go, so I'm tapping, once I let go, on responder release is being called at this point. And all we're going to do at this point is say this.props.onpress. Okay, so now if I go ahead, we've got box tapped. If I double tap it, we've got that double tap happening. So single, double, perfect. Uh, now let's go ahead and refactor this component a bit to allow for you know, any number of taps in this multi-tap component. So we'll just say uh, number of touches. Okay, and we'll default this to two. And then instead of event.native event.touches.length equaling two, we can set it to equal this.props.number of touches so that um, by default it's two. We could also go ahead and change, uh, let's go ahead and set number of touches equal to one because I can't do three, at least I don't know how to in a simulator. Um, but so we can see box tapped here. And it's not doing anything if I'm double tapping because we've got number of touches equal to one. If I go ahead and replace this touchable highlight, obviously that's kind of redundant. You wouldn't have a touchable component and number of touches there. But if I go ahead and touch it, we can see we've got that double tap showing up. 